All right, and welcome to another game. Today we're going to be playing, or I don't know, hacking, I guess, uh, the game UQ Genso Kyoku Second Album. Let's watch the intro for a sec. Yeah, so uh, you basically understand the game now. Um, the object of this game is to, I don't know, I guess... Uh, look, at, look at girls or something? We can go to the data box. What do you suppose data box is? Hey, data box. I'm gonna load. Oh yeah, so we can look at, uh, I guess, our character... I guess that's not us. That must be somebody else. Because we have a... Uh... No, wait, no. Gender man. Okay. So, uh, in this game, it actually gives us a breast width and uh, hip ratio. Despite being a male character. That's fine. You can also see uh, our other characters. Rio Baxter. Apparently he's a 12-year-old says they're a man. Eighteen. Man, Lou Simmons. Just sort of get some information about some of these characters. And then I think we have um, the various uh, women that you can date in the game. Uh, we're not gonna go through all these translating them. Seventeen. We've got a fifteen-year-old over here. This is Japan after all. And these games are mostly made for young folk, I suppose. 16-year-old Trisha Foster. Oh, the relatively ancient 20-year-old uh, Yura Tachibana. Oh my gosh, 13 years old? Laura Newfield. And then we're back to ourselves. So those are the only characters we know, I guess, at the start of the game. I feel like there are more. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe? No, that's a, that's a guy. So I think there's only seven shown here, but I'm pretty sure there's more. We can take a look at events. No event data. Found data. I don't know, I guess we can change the music or something. Regardless, uh, we're, you know, the goal of the game is to unlock as many of those uh, pictures and all that other kind of stuff as possible.
So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and skip start. We're going to skip kind of the intro of the game. Let's just get right into it. Now, one of the things we're going to want to be doing, because our goal is to look at all the pictures in the game, then what we're going to do is open up this little window over here. This is the RAM search. This, of course, is a hacking video, so we're not really going to be playing this game uh, legitimately. Old Captain. So we're, remember the Vigilante Force or something? He's just like, yeah, you, uh, you want to join the Vigilante group? Let's take some aptitude test. All right. So we just had a whole bunch of things change. I don't know. Let's see. Can we find those values? And the answer is yes, we can. But maybe not like that. Uh, probably if we're getting um, stat points, I'm going to say that's going to be a two byte value. Might be a one byte value. Let's try this again. We could also try looking for uh, where our name is stored in memory. That could give us a clue. Oh, uh, but we're not going to do that because I'm lazy. Did you put in your name? Yeah. Let's take an aptitude test. So we want something that is not equal to whatever it just was. And is still equal to whatever it just was. Some value just went up again. Let's say it has to be not equal. And then it has to still be equal. So this reduces it to about 500 addresses. Our uh, that thing is going up again. Now it's down to about 250 addresses. In fact, we're going to say it's got to be greater than it just was, it's not just not equal. Okay, slowly reducing this down. That, that little flashing uh, person. We still need a greater value than we just had. Reducing to about 35 possibilities. values are around like 4,000 something. That seems wrong, but it does seem to be working. So there's this value here that did increase. Let's go ahead and view this in the hex editor. I'm going to switch over to the hex editor here. Uh, sorry, where'd that go? Here it is. I got this value 13b8. Yeah, this looks like a stat block. Let's see if this changes as our stats increase. Oh no, something weird is happening. Oh, what's going on? 
And uh, in that cutscene, we were going to meet Hex, or Hexa, who's a fairy or something. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, we're basically trying to... Who is this? It says this is a male character. I guess we can date a, uh, I guess we can date men in this game. So that is, uh, I don't know, I guess that's a little surprising. First game did not have that ability. And we are going to want to meet all these different characters, but before we do that, let's just take a quick save here. There's a couple values that might be relevant. Just gonna record those. Let's maybe try talking to. What is going on with the music? Did you hear that? I have not started hacking the game. Let's talk to this person. This person's name is... Trisha. Okay, so let's, uh, let's come back to those stat blocks in a bit. Let's talk to Trisha for a second. We're like, hey. What's wrong? Hey, Trisha's father is an old man. Okay. It doesn't mean anything. Alright? I didn't mean anything by it. Hey. So we have a uh, new image for this character. So we're gonna say that her bites have just increased. Because we've unlocked that image that we have not seen for her. And we're gonna say the rest of the uh, rest of everything is staying the same while we're not talking to her. Um, that is still the same image. Yeah, go ahead and join me. Alright. Yeah, you're gonna join my vigilante crew. Of course. Yeah, she seems annoying, huh? What's wrong? Nothing. So she joined our group. It wasn't necessarily the best character. That didn't seem to give us a lot of data. We just have the two images. So... We'd be looking for something with two images, maybe this one here, this five. This is maybe right around the right place in memory. Because we can see here, uh, there's a bunch of zeros and then there looks to be flags, in my opinion. Um, we're going to do a quick save and let's see. Yeah, it seems like... What if we talk to a slightly different person? We can talk to... Let's talk to this person who seems like she's the cop. Her name is Vanessa. Uh, I see. So this value actually increased and then it went down again. It's probably not good. So 
Remember, public security. If she joins the vigilantes, it could be a problem. Stop thinking so simply. Hey there. You seem like you're good with a gun. You want to join the vigilantes? Yeah, so we just got a new image. But I'm not seeing the, uh... Obviously, the, this thing that I have selected is not changing. Maybe it's a little bit higher up. Hmm, okay. Yeah, so that, um, that I think is not the correct address. So let's come back here. There's a value of three here. Let's view that in the hex editor. Uh, this is a pbav. This is actually voice data, so that's nothing. Let me see. Here's a value of five. That's another pbav. Yeah, we've got about 35,000 entries in here, so that's Probably not going to be productive. Let's try again. So we currently want everything to be equal. And here we're going to select... Uh, let's select the cat girl. She seems like an expressive character. Meow, who does she? We're looking for a number that's greater than the previous one. This reduces it to about 900 options. And then we have a little bit of an annoyed look. Okay, so none of that worked. So even though we got three different images for her, they're not in the same two bytes. They could be in uh, four bytes. It could be a four byte packet for her images. I feel like the music is... Uh... Kind of a little messed up for some reason. What am I thinking? Inviting a drunk cat girl. I know, it's a bad idea to invite drunk cat girls. You never know what they're gonna be up to. Yeah, so this did not work. Hmm. So one conclusion that we could have is that maybe the picture data is not located together. That's a possibility. So in which case, we might be looking for a specific value of zero on a single byte. Could just be a, like a set of flags.
And here we might be looking for a specific value of 1. Now, it turns out that there are a bunch of things that do match that. That 300. And almost none of them have changed. Everything that was zero and is now one, of which there are 300 entries, they mostly still match. So we could look maybe around here in memory. Except for now, everything has just gotten reset to zero. Well, about 250 of them, so... Why do you want Albert? Yeah, I agree, I don't want Albert. See, I would not have guessed that this was a male character. I guess they've got relatively broad shoulders, but other than that, I guess in the intro they were they looked more male. Like I almost feel like the artist cannot draw male faces. <laughs> they can only draw this one kind of face. Alright, come join me. Alright enough, Albert. We got you. Ooh, you're blushing. So Albert has like four pictures. And let's have this little girl join us. She's like 13 or something. You want Laura? Uh, yeah, of course I want Laura. I don't have that many friends. Well, I guess that's right. Okay, let's go. Hey, Laura. Yeah, I'm bringing her on a date. Okay, enough of this silliness. Come on, join me. You know, I saw this interesting number here. Ooh. Yeah, that is an interesting number. Yeah, so I found a, a number in memory, sort of located near one of the things I thought might have been an image, which seems to correlate to, like, whether the image is loading or not.
Okay, she joined us. Okay, so we have all of our characters. Uh, if you watched the other video, you remember this menu. Uh, let's go ahead and press our triangle button. Yep, we have all of our likes and dislikes. Uh, we have, let's see, R2. R2 will show us stats and stuff. You know, maybe what we could do is start by looking for the value 34. Which represents our strength. It's about 10,034s. But maybe there's one uh, in the right location of memory. Let's see. I'm looking for memory around 9B. Yeah, here's one. I was saying that this sort of looked like a stat block, and I think I'm right. If I change this to like 99. Oh yeah, what is that? I now have... Strength plus two. Uh, okay, I'm gonna say that that's probably too high. Maybe it should be like 64, so I have like 100 worth. That is too high. Uh, 63. There we go. Now I have a 99 strength. Uh, so we can just change all these values. This was, uh, let's say, this could be a 63 for durability. Uh, 63 for instantaneous power. 63 on our mana, uh, 63 on our resistance, so we now have a maximum set of stats. There it is. All 99s. Now, of course, this is just for, um, you know, what is this like? Oh. Do, 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 do. Let's save this correctly. Yeah, so that's my strength, just in case I need to jump back to that. So there's this values here, um, up to here. Let me see, we're looking for some other stats. How about a value 25? Because that worked pretty well. We're looking for a 25 that's somewhere in the same area of memory. Should be around 9B. A couple 25s. Could be like maybe 9B. Like 9B8. That's not it. This looks like something else. Maybe it's at like 9A. Maybe a little bit before our character. Hmm, we're not finding it. Now this looks like a familiar pattern right here that we saw in the first game. For each button that's pressed, uh, one of these timers will execute. Countdown from uh, 24, 24 frames. I 
Then we have our controller inputs just above that, right here. As we press buttons, we see those controller inputs get set. So it seems like... Yeah, and then here's our stats. So everything around this area looks to me like it's probably stats related. Let's maybe look for a value that's going to be easy for us to find, like this value 30. There's two 30s that should be, like, very close by. Uh, in fact, they should be two bytes away from each other. In fact, I could actually look for this value. Let me see. If, can I do, like, a hex uh, calculator? So I want the value... Let's see. 50 in hex is 32, and then I want 48 in hex, which is 30. And so I actually want to find the value 3230, I believe, um, in hex as a 2-byte value. Should be 3230. There's 89 addresses. Um, none of them look like they're in the right value, so maybe it's actually 30, 32. And again, none of them quite look right. How about, uh, 30 in hex? It'd be 1e. So it could be, um, 31e. Or could be 1e30. I don't know what the Indianness is here. Let's just say that's FFFF. That didn't seem to work. Uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll stay here. We'll actually go, go back to this save. So in this save, we have not yet set our stat values. We also have a few different characters. But that's okay. See, I feel like, okay, if I look up um, should be like 1e followed by 28. Yeah, so I'm able to immediately find my stat block. And set it to like absurd levels. So that's fine. Uh, let's see. Can I do page down? We have our magic values here. We have no magic, but we can probably change that. Just by like setting some random stuff. Make a liar out of me game. Yeah, it's having some trouble, I guess. So if I set, like, all of these random values, ooh, that doesn't seem good.
<laughs> uh, that was interesting. It had a mini heart attack there for a second. I wonder why it did that. Okay, so this is the page that I'm currently on, so I can... Go to page two, I guess. Just teleport uh, the pages that I'm looking at. Here's the character that I'm looking at. I can translate this person. This is, uh, I don't know, I guess her name is Machine Door. So that's character number three. Character number zero. Now there is a whole bunch of stuff in here that looks, I don't know, vaguely stat-like. Gonna check the sounds. Show me the voice data. Is that for this character? I think that's for that character. Yeah, it does seem to be the case. So if I look up the event data, this is the data that we're trying to get, I believe. This, I think, are the pictures of this character. But I'm not sure. That's kind of why we're exploring. So we're just gonna go ahead and clobber a whole bunch of random data here, and then just, I don't know, see what happens. All this looks pretty normal. Let's see, is anything changing? Oh, that is now at maximum. Change some stats. Okay. That's gonna freeze the game. I see. Okay. So I definitely don't want to clobber that. Whatever that is. And I feel like when I'm looking at this value, these values are not the same either. Did we change the like values between our group? That changed our magic for sure. Now everybody's unhappy. Uh, the game is also being unresponsive. Why is that? Okay. Sounds like I clobbered something important there. What if I were to just start changing all these? look good. 
These look like important things that could be images. They could also be anything. We're just gonna go ahead and clobber all that. we cannot change characters while the event menu is open. Wait. Uh, yeah. Okay. How interesting. So cloppering all that data did not seem to work. Now we have just a bunch of other random garbage in there. Hmm. Alright. Seem to be having some trouble with this one. Let's look for our hit points. We want a specific um, unsigned value should be equal to 156. And yes, there are two values right next to each other that are equal to 156, so this is our hit points. So we can definitely make that like, what is it, 3e7, so? 0, 3e7. didn't work. Hmm. There's another one here. 0, 3, E, 7. Is it because that hasn't refreshed? Hmm. And what is this value of 9b in hex? It's 155. What? And one... This would be 156 right here. Am I changing the wrong number? 03e7 on that? Doesn't seem like any of that's working. There we go. Okay, so I found some stats. They're in a little bit of a different spot. They're over here at like CD. Now this seems to have some more stat blocks in it. Our mana, yeah, and our mana is freaking off the charts. Uh, who else needs some mana? We have somebody with like 120. That's right, they should have like 180. There should be something around, probably around the same area. Okay, so their stat block is separated by a gap. Wait, is it? Okay, this is, um, this is my mana. 
and then right. Hmm. Yeah, okay, it's right here. There's my mana, and then their stats are right here. So these are all of our stats. Let's go ahead and just raise everything to 999, right? So this 78 is their hit points. Nice. Hit points, MP. Maximum hit points, maximum MP. We're getting some corruption because it's like you have more hit points than your maximum meter, so it doesn't know what to do. Uh, then we're gonna have over here. Is this like 210? be pretty close to that should be like mm, d2 there we go so now we have maximum hp on those and then we should have like 110 that should be around eight or so six e there we go Okay, so we have found where to maximize our hit points. Now we're looking for a value of like 90. Which is probably a single bite. And it should be a single bite right around like CD or so. Here it is. So if this was uh, FF, yeah, now we got 255. We have this uh, 70, yep. 30, yep. Let's go ahead and raise all these values up to maximum. Oh, we can actually raise these higher. Let's just do like a 2F though. Just so I don't get confused. Oh, it's it's probably it's F2. FF02. There we go. did not seem to do anything. Okay, so our stats are pretty high. What are these things on the top, anyway? Secret? That's probably not what it says. Yeah, so these are definitely just, like, all of our stats. Does any of this matter? Well, I don't know. It does not seem to be giving us event data. She's got some magic. She also has some magic. Um, let me see. I think what we should do is probably go back, um, and s take another look at what we can do here. So I think we found some useful pieces of data.
let's all do that thing. Uh, I guess our tiredness uh, increased. Some people started slacking or something. I don't know what the sign means. Okay, we just found like a new person. We're gonna try saving on quick save seven here. All right, we're we're leveling up. What are we doing? Oh yeah, we're all learning magic. Oh, I'm learning every magic in the game because I have maximum stats. I got the Sonic Break. What is she asking me? I want a drink on the way home. Uh, sure. Achievement rate, 144%. Screwed up. Alright. Now, last time we were able to figure this out, it helped because we, uh, we went over here to rest. We could view status, of course. But the thing that really helped us figure this out was, um, was resting. Here we go. We found the pictures. So this is the picture menu. Just like in the first game. In fact, I think it's the exact same background. So one immediate thing that helped me was to switch out the character identifier so that they showed me different images. Let's see if we can do that. We want to look for a value of... I don't know. Probably less than 10. A 1 byte value that's less than... Yeah, 1 byte value that's less than 10. Somewhere around... Probably C... CDF. Uh, but it should be greater than zero. Let me see. So right around, let's see, CD3 has a couple, CD4, CDF. Yeah, there's some values over here. Could any of these be it? I don't know. Let's take a quick save. And then... Literally just like, I don't know, change all these to one. 
and see what happens. Seems like all of our characters are still intact. So it's probably none of that. Now, one thing we can do is we know that we have multiple saves, right? So we have this save where we can, uh, let's see, go to... Where do I see this menu? All right, we have, like, us, we have the cat girl, we have the guy, and we have the pink-haired girl. And here we have us, cat girl, purple-haired girl, blue-haired girl... So one thing that we could do is we could say, all right, we want, I want a one byte value that's currently equal to the previous value. And then when we switch over to uh, here, we want it to be not equal to the previous value. Now that is a possibility, but that is maybe not the best way to do it. The best way is probably to start here, where we're selecting characters. So right here, we can, um... We can go ahead and say current value is expected to be equal, but as soon as we say this, Easy. it should be not equal. Okay. And then what we're going to do is uh, load the save and say, never mind. I don't like you. Get out of here. So we did not end up picking them. We're gonna pick uh, this character instead. Uh, Hexa is gonna say, like, why do you want to hang out with, like, a little baby? She's, like, 12. What's wrong with you? Um, so this value should still be equal to the previous value. And when we say join us... Should be not equal. That did not work. Hmm. Easy. It's possible that it doesn't change until the end of this conversation. In which case, uh, let's go ahead and deny him. Uh, it should still be equal even while we're switching between these characters and stuff. should still be equal because we haven't done anything yet. So we've got about 127 possibilities in the left. 
Let's go ahead and invite them. And I believe we should wait until after we finish this conversation to make sure that they have joined us properly. And now we say we want a value that's not equal. Now, out of all these values, there's this value 12. That's possibility. There's also value 1, 6, 5... This one, though, looks like the best. This 9 right here. Because I bet that if I have this person join me, this is going to turn into a... like an 8. Let's go ahead and see that happen. Ask them to join me. All these cool guys. It did not turn into an 8. Well, you know what? I think we're running out of time on this video. We're having just about the same amount of difficulty figuring this thing out as we did on the previous game. But I think we have a good idea of what we're looking for, so maybe we'll figure it out next time. I'll see you then.